We got the interviewer and we got the, the cameraman. This is cool, okay. <laughs> It was kind of difficult, you know what I'm saying, going through a situation where you got an indictment that says United States of America versus Damian Lewis. That's a wake up call right there. Growing up in Inglewood, California was an experience, truly was an experience because uh, I tr there's, there's no other place like California, especially Inglewood. You got your good parts, you got your bad parts, but uh, the part I grew up in, it, 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 was, it was gang infested, being young and, and, and thinking you know it all, you know, I, I headed down the wrong path. I didn't really understand how serious it was as far as, you know, being part of a gang and, and your life being in jeopardy every time you walk out the door. I mean, because it's like you got blinders on. I know it was, it was by the grace of God that he directed my parents to get me up out of this area before it was too late. I didn't want to leave, you know, and that's crazy that you don't want to leave somewhere where you could die. I believe if I didn't leave, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. Leaving California and then uh, coming to Leavenworth, Kansas was a culture shock, but I still had them California ways in me, you know. Sometimes habits are hard to get out of you. You know, I should have been doing what I was supposed to be doing, you know, taking care of my business. But instead, I was being a, a young punk, you know, in trouble with the law, hanging out with people that really didn't care about me. Going to jail for a DUI, reckless driving, uh, possession of a firearm, and I wouldn't wake up. I believe I was just justifying everything, blaming everybody else, basically. Instead of putting the blame on myself, you know, being accountable for my actions and, and doing something about it. The time for my wake up call came in 2000 when I got arrested and uh, never saw daylight for seven and a half years. I ran into somebody that owed me some money. Not a lot of money. $60. And I, and I demanded my $60. They said they didn't have it. So I felt, okay, you're disrespecting me, I'll be back. Went and got my gun, nine millimeter. Came back, everybody was gone and the place was shut down. But I thought somebody was still in there, so I'm yelling at the top of my voice, come out, open the door. You gonna pay me my money? You know, and so what I do, I cock the gun, I start shooting in the air. I walk around the corner and who I run into? I ran into the police officer. Well, he drew, he drew his gun on me, told me to get down. You know, I'm so intoxicated, I couldn't run if I wanted to. He found uh, like 34 ounces of uh, crack on me, money, uh, baggies, and a nine millimeter. And my first day in the county jail, this guy walked up to me. And I didn't know who he was at the time. I said, oh, this is a guy I used to sell drugs to. He told me, he said, hold on, I'll be right back. He comes back, he got a Bible in his hand. And he told me, here, man, he said, man, this, is, this, this has been helping me, man. And I started reading it, you know? And I was trying, I didn't have anybody there to explain things to me, but I know I needed to change, you know? And I knew I wasn't going home. Being behind the glass, talking to your family on visitation time. Uh, at that beginning process, you, get, you, you got a lot of time to think. So when I got to prison, uh, I just prayed and asked the Lord that he uh, showed me something that I can walk out with. And he led me in that direction of being a fitness trainer, you know. It's not painful talking about the past because uh, the past is the past. But when you look at it, you just look and say, man, you know, I, I kind of, you know, messed up a lot of people's lives, you know, because I, I was born and raised to be a leader, you know. But I led people in the wrong direction, you know, and that hurt. It's good to be home, you know. Uh, it's good to how people are looking at me now. It's a good, it's a good feeling, you know, because all I want to do now is be a positive influence in people's life. I want to make a, a difference in a positive way now. You didn't have to go to traffic. That's all I want. <laughs>